So I'm new to readers, but have read off my tablet for a long time. I'm not a big reader, but I'm trying to do that more. So a nice, lightweight, dedicated reader seemed like it would help. I chose this one because it has overdrive already in place and ready to go. And I read mostly library loan books, so I thought that would be more convenient. I had a couple of hiccups getting that working, mostly my ignorance. I don't have any previous experience to compare it to, except it's far superior to reading on a tablet, but I'll say that reading is a pleasure. Good screen, touch screen, or buttons work perfectly. I thought the small screen would bother me, but it's so easy to page up it's not an issue at all. I love that it has auto-rotate. I'm learning that for holding it when I'm reading outside I like vertical where I can hold the large side handle, but I have a thing to hold it while I sit leisurely by the window indoors, and then I prefer horizontal. It's okay to be spoiled. It has very nice and easy adjustments. Just slide a bar to increase type size or brightness. I like their typeface and spacing options. I've had it for four days and I'm mostly playing with it so far, and it's lost half its charge in that time. I don't think that's a huge deal, but others have commented about it. I'm struggling a little about just one thing. It does not support the X-ray feature that Kindle has to keep track of characters. For whatever reason, I have a problem remembering the names of the many secondary characters even a day later, and I have used X-ray pretty regularly to keep up. I like that feature. It may only available on Kindles, but for an expensive and high-end reader, I think it should have such useful features as this. But the quality of the screen and the bigger size are top-notch.